What is up, ladies and gentlemen, you two guys right. I'm Chris Smith. Today I'm gonna to be reviewing the Maltese Falcon. Now this is right, the classic film noirish movie, and let's get this thing going with the plot. Say to the end, don't be a dick or an asshole, and actually watch the whole video. So the basic plot, if you didn't know, is pretty much about the detective Sans Fay, who eventually one day takes a case from this woman, and he realized that he kinda of signed up for more than he actually bargained for. Now I'm not gonna spoil anything, because I want people to actually see it and actually see uh the experience for themselves. So let's get this thing started for some good things, some bad things. And it ain't really any. Um, for me particularly, this is pretty much the, the ultimate detective story, pretty much. You know, this is the thing that kind of started the entire kind of or branched out, really, the, the film noirish thing. You know, from the hats to whatever. This is just classic Hollywood at its best from the dialogue to whatever. Now, the thing is so well written um, to the point where it's, it's very informative. It's very informative dialogue. And they don't really tell you up close and personal some of these characters, uh, you know, what they do or whatever, but if you really pay attention to this thing, you can actually kind of figure out some of their backstories just through the dialogue, or you can almost kind of make one up yourself and kind of piece together some of the pieces, in my opinion. Um, there are some camera shots and some camera angles in here that really kind of put you, at least to me, that's what I thought, they kind of put you right in almost like the, you're like the third person in the room, as if you're almost like interrogating or you're looking over the shoulder and you kind of believe that you're almost in that room, uh, either being interrogated or being uh, the one asking questions. It almost puts you in the seat of uh, Sam Spade. Now, Bogart is fantastic in his movie. He's probably at his best personally because Bogart was one of those guys that kind of never really had to yell or do anything loudly. Uh, and most of the actors at the time really also didn't really have to yell too much, mainly because they had a nice, good presence. Like in this movie uh, particularly, you know, uh, this is one scene where he has his gun uh, pointed at him, and I feel like Bogart was one of those guys that was kind of scary enough or intimidating enough that you would actually think the loaded gun is actually less damaging than Bogart. Um, that's what it is. This is one scene uh, in here with Joe Cairo, which I think is actually one of the better characters of this entire uh, movie. Uh, he's tr he's pointing a gun to Spade, right? And he is trying to get the drop on him, and then eventually Bogart or Spade, whatever you want to call it, he eventually kind of hits him. And then he kind of like smacks him around. He gets smacked around by uh, Bridget, which is a woman. And then he just kind of gets punked like a bitch in this entire movie. But Joe Cairo is actually a real good character. And that's kind of what this movie really does. They have interesting characters. And it's very rare, very rare that almost every character is actually interesting. Every character seems like they have a story of their own to tell that you don't necessarily see on screen. Uh, from Joe Cairo to Bridget to Gutman, which is fantastic in this thing. There's a whole bunch of other people. Um, and this movie is kind of like the blueprint to every film noir that came after, pretty much. You see a little bit of specs in here and here for all these things. And a lot of people say that this movie is kind of confusing. To me, personally, I don't think it is. If you pay attention to this film, you can figure out everything. As I said, the dialogue is informative, so you have to really pay attention. There's details everywhere, really. If you if you focus, if you focus in this movie, it is not hard to follow. That's just simply as that. Uh, John Houston, which directed it and wrote it, he did a fantastic job. It was the first time directly. He really knocked it out the park, hit it in the field, and made it for the hoops uh, because he really just nailed it and everything pretty much possible. Uh, there's really nothing bad to say about this movie except maybe Bogart is kind of creepy as, you know, uh, when he smiles. That's about it. Uh, there is a bit of a twist, and there are a lot of good lines. Uh, the main thing that kind of forms this entire movie up is really the last maybe like eight to ten minutes that really kind of puts you into the driver's seat as to what is going on. Like, Bridget and the audience, pretty much, like, Spade and the audience are pretty much in the driver's seat when it comes to Bridget, uh, seeing how she kind of strings you along around this bullshit, and you kind of wonder how long is she going to string you around. Uh, so, therefore, you're kind of, like, in the same driver's seat as Spade. And that's kind of the main, one of the main themes that kind of fall in, to me personally, in this movie, is greed and bullshit. Because everybody's kind of conning someone, or they're bullshitting someone, or everybody wants money. Even Spade himself, you know, he says it himself, uh, most of the time he only took the case really because of the money. And that's kind of what this whole thing is. But yes, this is a fantastic film noir that really just shunned everything together, you know, to me personally. Um, it's a fantastic first directional debut by John Huston and the music is also fantastic. Um, but yeah, it, it's a great movie. Go watch it. Go watch the Maltese Falcon now. Do it. Do it. But first, subscribe, and then you can, you know, watch it. But comment, subscribe, and like. That's my review of the Maltese Falcon. See the brim? Yeah. Signing out.